Um, actually, bad news for, for us. Um, Cole Palmer appears to be having problems as he came off the pitch with his, his right hamstring. Had a little review, didn't look very happy on the way off as well. What can you tell us? No, first of all, uh, thanks. Uh, no, Cole, yeah, he had some, he felt something, but uh, he looks he looks fine. Uh, they already check him, he looks fine, he looks okay, so hopefully it's not uh, it's not any problem and he can be available for Sunday game. Hey, Joe, it's obviously a positive result, um, but at half-time there were a few boos and then there was a boo again when the ball was played back. Do you understand the, the frustration from fans for some time, considering how much has gone on at the club, but have you got a message to no, no, no. The, 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 the message is quite clear. Uh, we are in a moment that we are learning how to manage the game. Probably in some moment uh, was uh, the right thing was to do exactly the same thing, but in the opposite side. So for me, the intention to keep the ball is the correct one, especially when you are 2-0 up. So it's the, the, it's the intention is good, but probably where is not good in terms of we try to manage the ball. Uh, in last 10 minutes, 15 minutes in our side, but we knew we try we need to try to do exactly the same in the opposite side. So I can understand, but uh, I think overall it was important tonight to win the game, clean sheet. We did nine changes. We had players like Renato, Axel, Pedro, uh, even Mark, player that uh, Philip, that was first game for him, official game. So many good things. Is off. Yeah, no. Yeah, I think uh, all of them they need more times to 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 get to to know better the system for sure, hundred percent. But tonight was also in terms of physical condition for some of them was not easy. But uh, as I said, I think the intention of the players to keep the ball was the good one. But uh, sometimes we 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 need to do exactly the same, but uh, in the opposite side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really like uh, Noni. Uh, the only problem with him probably is that he has to understand that he has to be cons consistency during the week, every t every training, every training, every training. But uh, yeah, he's it's a good player and he's doing well with us since we start. David, Hi, yeah, so, uh, congratulations on obviously another step forward, of course. What is the thing you like the most? No, I think uh, for some moment I really like the team on the ball and off the ball, especially at the beginning of the game. I think the team was very aggressive. We created some chances. We start exactly in the same way, second half. Uh, very aggressi aggressive off the ball, on the ball. We, we play, we, for some moment, we, play, we played really well. But also, because we are in a moment in the process, there are some moments that we can uh, manage better and we struggle, but I think it's, it's all normal. Simon. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I said, uh, but uh, the problem is the reality is that until, as I said already, as until the window transfer is open, anything can happen. But for sure, Noni is a kind of player that uh, that I like. And, and have you had to talk to him because, of course, Pedro Neto has come in, played him, started him on the right, and Noni's position on the right. Have you had chats with him about? Him? Yeah, we have. I said we have so many games that at the end, if it's not uh, today, it will be the next one. If it's not the next one, it will be the other one. We have so many games, and the important thing, as I said, uh, for Noni, I like him. He's doing well since we start with us. The only thing that he has to improve is that he has to uh, become consistency every day, every day, every day, work hard, and then uh, he will get minutes for sure. Roman. Yeah, no, I think uh, th the game first half was for Mark Guyu, our striker, because there was a lot of space for him to drop and to give us the extra man. He struggled a little bit, so the intention with call was to give him minutes as a number nine, but uh, he had to behave as a midfielder. So this was the intention. I think call he, he can do he can do very well. He already done in the past many many times. So the reason why was for that. Then. Mark 
No, I just uh, I was just uh, I just said him that probably doesn't like easy goal. He likes difficult goal, but uh, it's, it's for me it's it's all normal. He's very young. He's 2006. He's the youngest one of the squad. But the way he works off the ball, he run a lot. He press, and doesn't matter. He's going to score for sure. Jacob and James talked about Noni needing to be more consistent. Is that the same for, for Mudrik? Because he, he looked like he had some good moments tonight and then some kind of more frustrating moments. Yeah, but uh, I think this is uh, Misha, this is Mudrik in terms of not only tonight, I think a little bit uh, since he joined the club, I think he had some good moment and then some moment. It's like, I don't know how to say in English, but it's like a tuck. When he has the ball, it's like tuck. You don't know if it's one thing or the other thing. And I think this is Misha in the moment that, as you said, he become more cons consistency. He can he can give one step forward. It's been like that. It's been like that ever since he came here. You said that it, it never feels like it's gonna be so one good thing and one bad thing. We're gonna try to help him to change. I think if he he, he has to understand uh, that we're gonna bring him the ball there in the last third, and when he's there taking the right decision because for me most of the mistake from Misha it's not about the quality or technical mistake it's about the choice sometimes he has to play and he try to do something different and we'll use the ball sometimes he has to go one by one and he, it's, it's about uh, decision maker but hopefully we can help him and he can improve that we'll do two more uh, second row Hi, um, it's been a great start to your Chelsea career first win today um, but I want to talk about more important subjects what's life been like living in London have you settled in yet? Have you found a nice bar, club nearby? What's life been like? No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm living next to the training ground. Two minutes, three minutes. But it's very easy from house to the training ground. The, the area where we stay with the training ground and the, the house is fantastic. It's very quiet. But uh, yeah, I, sp I spend most of the day at the training ground. That is fantastic. Have you done any sightseeing or nothing like that? Say again? Have you done any sightseeing? Have you gone into London, Big Ben? Uh, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Mike, you. finish us back at football, if I may. Um, you dominated long periods of the game, and yet in the last ten minutes, Servet uh, yeah. had several chances to score. Were you a bit concerned that you almost blew your advantage in the last ten minutes? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was a bit worried. I think the last ten minutes we played a little bit with the fire, because as I said, uh, we could manage the game completely in different way. But uh, I also expected because we are in a moment that. Uh, uh, we are learning things, so I think it was at the end was 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 a good thing because we didn't concede, but from there we can we can learn.